Welcome back, Rockstars, to more Complex Pixelmon. Today, we're gonna open up another Pokemon X, so let's dive into it and see what we get. Okay, Rockstars, so I've been saving my money up for a little bit now. If we take a look, we are just over a million dollars. Now, this is a very important number because when crossing the million mark, we actually get to the best point in the GTS price range. See, uh, the Easter eggs we've opened up before are only $500,000, and they are considerably not the best eggs to get. Now, after studying what each of the eggs could give us, the best egg i think is the corrupted egg overall has the best common pokemon and the best choices for a section of mythical outcomes which could be really cool so i think we're gonna go ahead and purchase this for a million dollars and boom ah that is so much money but i think it was worth it okay the corrupted egg this is so cool this if we could get so many things absol arcanine Ariados, blaziken delcaddy eevee ghost eevee would be so cool considering we're trying to breed eevees right now this score greninja would be sick any of the lycanroc forms would be awesome pikachu different forms it's venusaur super cool and then mythical outcomes a five percent chance pennywise blade blah 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 cephalon i can never say that blood moon cresselia grim reek or dark cry that sounds really cool hell ruler garatina garatina and slenderman deoxys Ooh, some of those sound so super cool all right let's open up this corrupted egg and let's see what we're gonna get confirm hatching of egg okay let's see what we can get here oh this is gonna be so cool come on give us something that we don't have that be possible or super sweet that we do oh a venusaur would be sick oh oh yes midday lichen rock no flipping way okay so shadow lichen rock midday modifier this modifier can be used on a lichen rock summonable can summon right click to redeem this modifier click to give yourself a shadow lichen dock midday there we go and beautiful so we can just give that i thought it wasn't going to give us the pokemon so i'm glad that's a skin option or keep because then way you can actually keep your really successful iv stat pokemon but we don't have a lichen rock whatsoever oh this is so cool okay i wish he was just a slightly like five to ten percent brighter other than that other than that i think this is super cool though i love like it's like a ghost like dark type like wind effect is what i get from it like it's blowing back all right so he has a lowered speed up attack nature that's not the worst thing in the world but it's also not good because he's a physical attacker with a lot of speed but we have a good rock type on the squad too that's a faster than tyranitar all right so his ivs come down to three Three physical attack and only 16 speed. It's not amazing whatsoever, so it's not perfect. He's definitely a really, really cool Pokemon, but I wish there was something we could do about his IVs. Is there, are there IVs reset modifier like there are the EV re reset modifiers on the GTS buy? Can you do that? Is that a thing? All right, so one good thing is because we do have our own separate palette modifier, we can actually, you know, contain and switch all of the different versions of Lycanroc. So I think what we could do is because because he has okay stats, 50% is all right, we can breed him. And because I never used this palette, I've had this since like day one, I've never used this, we might as well, I'd love to get a cool Lycan Rock. Even if we switch it up for a shiny one, that'd be really, really cool. So I am completely down for this. So maybe we should go Lycan Rock hunting today. I want to get the trio anyways. So that means we would be going back to the extreme hills, which is not a big deal. We should have plenty of Pokeballs to capture these guys. And we have a male. So we need a female with high physical attack in speed, EVs, and ivs well ivs not evs because we train those i'm being an idiot i always do that now i'm pretty sure i yep i've seen them spawn right back here they're not i don't think they're common but they're definitely not you know like super rare or anything so let's go ahead and let's get into this let's go ahead and we should have plenty of pokeballs quick balls dust balls let's see if we can capture this guy we another male not a big deal maybe it's cheaper because it's not legendary to switch its gender i actually know i think it's a couple hundred tokens which we don't have but it's still okay if we can get a better breeder overall 32 percent but it does have better attack attack iv so you know it is something to contemplate we'll keep it on ourselves for now but we should look around see if we can find any other spawners we know they spawn there but usually they try to keep them spaced out from pokemon not spawning in the same spawners too close together yeah i don't see rock rock on any of these spawners close by so i think we're just gonna have to stick around this one and just wait around and see if we can get another rock rock and a rock rough two rock roughs that is a heck of a timing okay so let's capture both of these this is a male once again which makes it a little harder to breathe we gotta get a decent female there we go we captured one rock rough and get over here little buddy come on and yes a female all you need to do is have decent attack and speed ivs that's all i need it's nothing crazy and i accidentally used a level ball instead of a quick ball same effect for the most part i think there we go okay so slash ivs four is it four yep four 59 29 base speed but only eight but no 31 base attack that is such a good male breeder yes that is one we want and special attacks not bad now for the female with 69 with only 12 attack 
ivies, which isn't great, but that's okay. We can put the band on the other rock rough, and we got 27 on the speed, and everything else is actually really good, which is disappointing. So we might want to put the band on this guy, because the Destiny Knot carries five instead of three AVs, or I mean IV stats guaranteed over from breeding. So instead of getting three EV stats from the female, we'll get five, which, you know, that's really good considering most of its stats are higher than the overall for the male rock roughs. It's just got higher in those lowest stats on the female has because it has three above average stats versus the female already having four or five above average stats so that's really good so we actually have a great breeding pair already okay sorry to cancel you guys out eevee but i need the destiny knot and you guys to start breeding so i can actually breed this so we want to put the destiny knot on the female now this might take a couple tries but overall we'll see how it works with the destiny knot on the female and we can also test it on the male as well if we so need to so an hour and a half and then we'll get there okay we have our rock rough IV is ready to look at so let's see what this bad boy egg is worth 79% IVs that is awesome 31 attack and 27 speed we got the two main categories we wanted plus a boost and everything except defense all right so now that we have magma warm body time to run around and hatch this egg then we can EV turn him egg hatching time shaky shake let's go ahead and we got our big boy e I about said EV what's wrong with me rock rough big question is you have an up speed lower special defense nature i will gladly take that such a really good having an up speed nature okay at this point we have our rock rough he's fully ev trained we are all set on our speed and our physical attack we just need to level him up to 25 at the actual right time okay it's got to be close enough at some point very very soon it's just got to be it's right around here somewhere oh, wait I, I gotta tell it's the right some point at some point i don't know i always hate this part okay it's got to be enough please please i think i did it way too late it's gonna be a midnight form and i'm gonna be so upset yeah i can see the star I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Don't even tell me. 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 Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we did it. 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 Yes, every single time. Yes, every single time. I swear I faked myself out. Okay. Crush claw over double team. Yes, for now. We're going to do a move fresh over. Yes. Oh, this is awesome. All right. We're going to make this guy. What should we make this guy? Should we make him? Okay. So we don't want to get rid of our midnight form because we can't choose that. So we're going to go ahead and choose shiny. And I've never had a shiny like in rock. Oh, that is so cool looking now all we gotta do is see if we can defeat the dragon type gym and figure out who we're gonna lead with maybe dragon pole all right we're leading off with lycan rock because like we said before we have the guaranteed to live plus we get stealth rock up so there we go we get that that's guaranteed perfect that's all we needed so now we shoot out speed but we shoot out speed almost anyone that comes in so we might as well switch out while we can there's no reason to stay in and risk it so let's switch out to gastrodon because water ground versus water dragon we should be fine no matter what plus we're defensive versus the physical attacks of Dracofish. Let's go Ancient Power because I'm expecting a switch out. They do. They go into Giratina. Not bad, but at the same time, not really any real damage. What about a Muddy Water up next? And they one-shot us. Okay, we got to figure out Giratina off the bat here. Lu Lycanroc, it should be one of our decent speeders, so I'm going to go ahead and do this with a good old crunch, and hopefully we can do some solid damage. Yes, there we go. And maybe Stab would have been better, but I, I you know, I just felt Crunch would have been good for accuracy. Dragon Pull, I think, is a clean pull in. Dragon Ghost versus Dragon goes but at the exact same time we have our choice scarf so draco meteor come on and that wasn't enough to finish it off and we don't live but we did quite a lot of damage so at this point we should be okay for the most part i'm a little iffy let's go ahead and ice beam and they switch out to draco fish that's okay let's go freeze dry and they one shot us that's really really not good okay intake come on in let's go ahead extreme speed it wasn't enough to finish him off we're gonna lose intake here yep leaving just mega guard jump which isn't enough to deal with i mean we can try Try. We're gonna go Dragon Tail, Mega Guard Charm, keep with that strategy. I wanted to bring him in earlier. Okay, the, the entire battle just glitched out there. Actually, this is incredibly good at the start. If we can get rid of Draco Fish at the beginning, we're set. So we have Draco Meteor at the bat, and there we go. We don't outspeed, which is insane. And we missed. That's nuts. That literally ruins the entire plan and wastes an entire Pokemon. So it's basically useless at that point. That's always a fantastic outcome to this situation. Now I have nothing to get past this guy. Do we use ancient power it's okay i guess on giratina that's not really something we wanted to go for earth power let's go and we got one shot nothing we can do about that okay i have no solution to this whatsoever i mean we can try mega guard chomp but i don't see it working like at all we're gonna go dragon claw as well just to make sure i mean because last time they switched out right because we went with the crunch so i'm assuming that either they're gonna switch out again i hope but either way it should be super effective and there we go we didn't finish it off let me guess we get one shot of course yep 
there we go we get one shot how do you beat this if everything gets one shot like i've i've played to the best of my ability because there's a bunch of rounds you guys just don't see in editing and this is so annoying articuno has got to be able to do enough damage with ice beam right and they switched out to Draco fish well we have our choice scarf so we're locked into ice beam we can no longer use freeze dry how did you out is vicious friend got a guaranteed priority otherwise i don't understand how Draco fish can outspeed i understand that he's like a really fast runner and whatnot but i had a choice scarf speed trained articuno let's go lichen rock because i don't know what else to do okay crunch let's go and you outsped lichen rock okay entail way to go we are gonna get extreme speed and one shot i absolutely just can't stand this gym no matter what it feels like no matter what strategy i go with it's just not working i gotta figure something out i need to honestly probably just save up a bunch of money and go buy a bunch of battle items because i don't even have close to half of them and i feel like i have very limited selection from my pokemon like each pokemon's maybe one item they can use for a pokemon battle and that's it and it's not really helpful i need some switch outs especially for my mega pokemon so when i use more than one mega i don't need to have an empty mega slot or pokemon with no battle item because they usually run a mega stone but if you guys did enjoy it leave a like comment and subscribe down below and i'll see you guys all next time rockstars peace peace